Howdy folks, I'm Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. Our first story is titled, Am I the Jerk for Bullying My Mom Into Telling Me Where Mother-in-Law Was? My husband hasn't been able to find his mom for about two months. Her social media is gone. We went to her home and it's been sold. He called her number, but she had blocked him a little while ago during a fight and it was still blocked. This somewhat seemed in character as the relationship hasn't been good for a while now, but he was obviously concerned. Well, I finally found mother-in-law on my mom's Instagram. They are friends, not best friends, but fairly good friends, and my mom had previously said she didn't know what happened to mother-in-law. I confronted my mom, who admitted that she knew where mother-in-law was. She said mother-in-law was fine, but wouldn't like her private information given out. I said my mom was being crazy, and this is her son. I ended up yelling at my mom that if she didn't tell us, I would never be able to trust her again. My husband would never forgive her, and so good luck having a relationship with her future grandkids or being involved in any of my milestones. She broke down crying and ended up giving us mother-in-law's address. We immediately jumped in the car and went to see mother-in-law. Mother-in-law was at first upset, but my husband cried. Mother-in-law ended up crying, and she agreed to seeing a family counselor with us. Mother-in-law was annoyed with my mom, but still wants to be friends. But my mom is furious with me and says I bullied her. My dad is also mad at me, says my mom was nervous wreck, and I overstepped. I don't think my behavior was great, but it was a desperate situation. All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Jerk. All right, well, what do you think? Ends justifying the means? <laughs> oh, no, OP. You need therapy. You and your husband both need therapy. Like, this is... Like, the fact that you're here... And you don't understand why what you did was so terrible is telling. Your mother-in-law was trying to put some space between herself and you. And instead of giving her that space, instead of contacting her through your mom and being like, oh, just let mother-in-law know that whenever she feels like coming and seeing us or talking to us, we're here, we are open with open arms and, you know, we're willing to have a discussion. We understand that she wants to take a break from us for a little while and we want to give her that space that she needs. But you bullied your mom, you extorted her, and you're like, L if you don't do this, then you're never going to see your grandchildren. Good luck seeing your grandkids. It's like, where do you think any of that was like reasonable or justified like you just like amp this up to 10 and you don't see where you went wrong i'm starting to understand why mother-in-law probably was uh trying to get out of the situation it seems like you two aren't necessarily good people and i really hope that you spend some time thinking about why what you've done here is not the ideal way of approaching friends, family, and relationships in general. This is destructive behavior. It's going to push people away from you. It isn't going to make people closer to you. You can't force people to be, you know, uh, your friends, so to speak, right? You can't force people to want to interact with you. And that sounds pretty self-destructive, if you ask me. So, anyhow, take care and good luck. You blackmailed your mom with being in your future kids' lives. I can see why mother-in-law wanted to get away from you. Not you're the jerk. She'll change that tune when she needs a free babysitter. Yeah, I'm getting why mother-in-law has cut contact with the two of them. She totally bulldozed her own mom to ca crash in on the mother-in-law and emotionally bully her into therapy with them, although they obviously need some sort of intervention. You're the jerk. How is it desperate? It sounds like you and your husband decided it was desperate. If she didn't want information given out about her, you shouldn't have respected that. Imagine if you had moved and you didn't want a person that you wanted out of your life to know where you were located. You would be furious if someone told them where you were. The reason she evidently wanted her son out of her life is her own business and you don't decide whether or not it's good enough for you. You also threatened your own mother with not seeing your grandchildren. You sound like a brat. I bet the next time your mom does something you don't like, you'll throw that in her face again. So, to recap, you disrespected someone else's boundaries, selfishly decided that you and your husband were more important, and you bullied your mom by threatening her. But hey, as long as the outcome was what you wanted, it's all good, right? You should be ashamed of yourself. Alright, our next letter is titled, Am I the jerk for ruining dinner with my joke? 
So my husband and I recently moved back to his hometown and bought a house near his parents. So we decided to host a family dinner. I cooked up a few dishes, including French onion soup. The soup was a hit. His mom asked for me for the recipe and I jokingly said that the secret ingredient is my tears because of onions. His mom stopped eating, stared at me. I tried to ease the tension by explaining that it was just a joke, but she didn't respond. After a few minutes, they got up and left. I knew she was strict about knowing where her food came from, making sure that they're organic and non-GMO and such. We actually went grocery shopping with her before dinner as reassurance. But I didn't realize an obvious onion joke would set her off. My husband has been trying to get her to talk to me, but she refuses. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Not the jerk. OP, you're not the jerk in this situation. What in the world? You made a joke. It was at your own expense about onions. And everyone knows when you cut onions, a lot of times people cry. Why she took this so personally is our her problem. I don't know. It really is kind of baffling to me that she would see this as this clear, obvious onion joke and make it about herself or make be disgusted by it because it's onion soup. I, I thought it was a funny joke. Honestly, I don't know why she has uh, such a problem with it. So I think this is, again, her problem, not your problem. Now, the jerk, that's actually a pretty funny joke. And even if she didn't understand it initially, she should have been receptive to your explanation. She sounds like a pain. I was also expecting it to be an offensive joke of some sort, not a dad joke, <laughs> especially because tears are all organic and non-GMO. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Not the joke. You made a bad joke, a terrible joke, and she completely overreacted. Their reaction was weird, to be honest. As for jokes, please never change. <laughs> I agree, OP. You mean a terrible joke. <laughs> Uh, it's comedy hour on Reddit, folks. That wasn't terrible at all. It had layers. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. We're really going off the rails here. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for this Sunday morning special. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving me a like. And if you didn't, consider giving me a dislike. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.